Hi, my name is Katie Gear, and I graduated from Lindenwood University in December 2019 with my Google Level 1 and Level 2 certification. Then in January 2020, I returned to my alma mater, Marquette Catholic High School, as a teacher this time. And on March 13th, when my school learned that it must close due to the COVID-19 pandemic, I took the chance to show my former teachers how they could conduct e-learning with Google Classroom. I gave an impromptu Google training just two days before e-learning began. And ever since, I've acted as my school's unofficial Google coach, helping every teacher transition to using Google Classroom confidently. I've also taken my trainings to local grade schools and plan on hosting monthly Google workshops this upcoming school year. As a Google trainer, I want to help educators see the value of using Google to enhance learning in their classroom, whether it's a physical classroom or a Google classroom. One material that I really enjoyed using during e-learning was a Google Doc with an interactive table of contents. So here is a doc that my class used a Romeo and Juliet script to which I added an interactive table of contents. This way the students could just click a scene they wanted to go to and they would immediately be taken there instead of having to scroll through pages and pages. So now I'm going to show you how you can make your own interactive table of contents on a Google Doc. So now I will demonstrate with this new copy of the Romeo and Juliet script how an interactive table of contents can be added. First, I need to go through my document and choose where I want bookmarks to appear. So all I have to do is click where I want a bookmark to appear and then choose insert bookmark. And now with this little icon, Docs will remember that I added a bookmark here. After I've repeated that for all places I want bookmarked in the doc, I'm going to choose where I want to insert my table. I will choose insert table and pick the dimensions I want for my table. Now on each box, I can add the name of the bookmarks that I made previously. So here I'll do the prologue that I chose earlier. Now I can highlight this title in the table of contents, right click and link. And now I can choose to link it to a certain bookmark. So I'll link it to the prologue bookmark. Now that that's been applied, if I click prologue, I'll be taken directly to that spot in the document. So here is a finished product of that table of contents. Now I've added all the scenes. So now even if I can't be with students physically to help them navigate this script, this table of content should make it pretty easy for them to get to the parts they need and get geared up for the lesson.